Uh, first of all, I would like to thank the organizers for the opportunity to speak here. This is our work joint with Daniel Ismani. First, I will define <coughs> what is specialized smooth homomorphism of the circle. You say that the map F, S1 to S1, is a CR specialized smooth homomorphism of the circle. If F is a homomorphism, and there exists a finite partition of S1 by intervals. Né? Uh, such that F is CR diffeomorphism on each closure by I alpha. Certo? The main question uh, is given two piecewise C two plus nu smooth homomorphism of the circle, on what condition they are smooth conjugated? Smooth conjugated mean by C1. C1 conjugate. Bom, there is a, a necessary condition to, to get a C1 smooth conjugate. Né? We define the breakpoint, the, the breakpoint the F at the point X is this number. We will say that X is a breakpoint if this number is different to zero. You will denote by BPF the set of breakpoints of F. Uh, it's easy to see that if F and G are C1 conjugated by H, then the, the conjugacy send the set of breakpoints of F in breakpoints of G, and the break in the corresponding breakpoints are equal. Yeah. When F and G satisfies these above conditions, we say that F and G are break equivalent. So the, break, uh, the notion of break equivalent is a necessary condition to get the C1 conjugation. Bom, então we start with uh, a piecewise homeomorphism of the circle. We suppose that this piecewise has three breakpoints. These breakpoints created the partition of the domain and a partition of the image, like this. And we will look at this, this map as an interval exchange map. In this case, it's an interval exchange map with the four intervals. Bom, I explain a, a little what is interval exchange map. We will start a, a set, a finite set. We will call A the, the alphabet. You pick an interval. The top interval is the domain. The bottom interval is the image. You will create a partition of the domain of the image, the same number of intervals. In this case, four. Therefore, the, in, the, in this example, A is equal to four. Then uh, I choose my, my alphabet to by letters A, B, C, D. You, you pick a um, permutation by four elements, or permutation you denote by this way. The top line means the order of the, the, the subinterval of the domain, and the bottom line tells us the order of the subintervals of the image. In this case, we have this, this order. FD, FC, FB, and FA. We will, we will denote by, by this permutation by P0 and P1. P0 this respect to the, bo, bo, uh, the top line, and P1 this respect to the bottom line. Bom. In, the world, in the world of the interval exchange map, we have an induction. We we'll call the Rosevich induction. If you pick an interval exchange map, you compare the length of the last subintervals. In this case, we will see that the last subinterval of the, the image is less than 
the last subterra of the domain. So we, we'll, in this case, we will we'll have this the interval exchange map is type zero. In other case, it's type one. Then you remove the smallest subinterval, you create a new interval, and you calculate the first return map in this interval, first return map of F. In this case, we have FD1 return in the first iterated, FC1, FB1, but FA1 we will need to iterate it one more time, so we will come back to the new interval. Not that the, permuta the permutation can be changed by this process. See, if the, the, the length of the last intervals are equal, the, the, this algorithm is stopped. Well, we will have this notation. In this case, we will, we will say that the letter D wins and the letter A loses. Bon. We will always assume that permutations are irreducible. That is, that isn't a proper subset invariant. E we will denote by PD the set of all permutations, irreducible permutation with D element. If you restudy the domain of the interval to zero one, we will have a new application RF. You know that RF is a new generalized interval exchange map with the same number of intervals. RF will be called the renormalization of F. If RNF is defined for every N, we say that F is infinitely renormalized. Okay. Well, that is a condition. <coughs> this is a no connection condition. This condition is sure that RNF is defined for all N. Uh, we will say that the episodic smooth homomorphism of the circle has no connection condition if the orbit of breakpoints are different. Forever NM, a forever distinct breakpoints A in and B. Uh, an important remark, if they equal to two, no connection, no connection condition is equivalent to irrational rotation number. So, morally, this generalizes the, the definition of the irrational rotation number. But, uh, there is a theorem. F has no connection condition if only if R and F is defined for all N. Uh, then, if you, if you if you like the infinitely renormalizable maps, uh, your map can be satisfied the, the, this, this condition. <coughs> well, well, if P is the combinatorial data of F, and is that real? Epsilon I. Epsilon I is zero or one, is the type of the EHR uh, renormalization. <coughs> if if uh, R and F is defined for R N, then there is a sequence P epsilon. epsilon to the E. This sequence is called the combinatorics of F, the infinite sequence. Well, if two generalized interval exchange map have the same combinatorics, then the orbit of the breakpoints has the same order in the interval. This implies that if, uh, if two generalized interval exchange map have no wonder interval, then they are topological conjugate by homeomorphism preserving these breakpoints. And this is a, a necessary condition to get the homeomorphism that send breakpoints and breakpoints. Bon, now, you, you define the space of the generalized interval exchange map, and I perceive 
I start this, this definition. Uh, we will consider a, a, a map F and a pick and subinterval of E, and you calculate the zoom. The zoom, you have J and FJ. You send the interval 0, 1 by um, a fine map, preserving orientation. FJ, FJ will send to the 0, 1 by a fine preserving orientation, a fine map that preserves orientation. Then this composition is the zoom of F and J. So we will define the, the space of the generalized interval exchange map where you can associate this data. PD is the set of the irreducible permutation. Delta D minus 1 is the D minus 1 dimensional simplex. The definition, eh? And the last set is the set of the homeomorphism H that fix the point zero and the point one. Not that the zooms, the zooms fix, send zero and zero and one and one. If you replace the, the, the set of the homeomorphism by the different morphism of class CR, then you get the, spi the space of the CR generalized in table exchange maps. If you replace uh, the set of the homeomorphism by the set the just only identity, uh, we will get the, spi the space of the affine interval exchange map. If you re replace the, the set by identity in the, the, these two simplex by this set, the VV, uh, we will get the space of the standard interval exchange map. In, in this set, uh, we can define the distance in the CR topology. The distances will compare the zooms, and we compare the, the length of the, the partitions in the domain in the image, in the sum norm. Boom. <coughs> now we we'll need another definition. The definition is K-bounded combinatorics. We we'll say that F has K-bounded combinatorics if every letter loses for any other distinct, distinct letters transitively after at most K steps of renormalization. But in other words, it means that given two letters, alpha and beta, we can find a finite sequence of integer in the between n and n plus k, in the finite sequence of letters, this finite sequence is started by alpha, infinity, and beta, such that alpha plus one, alpha i plus one wins, and alpha i loses in the NH renormalization. Morally, it, it, it means that the after k steps of renormalization, all the, all the intervals are equated by the Rosenwich induction. Okay, one important remark, if d equals to two, equal to two, this means that the coefficients of the continuum fractions of the rational rotation numbers are uniformly bounded. Is a Irrational rotation number is bound in type. Bom, you will say that the generalized interval exchange map F has genus 1 if F has at most two discontinuities. Okay. Uh, two important remarks is that the set of the genus 1 is invariant by renormalization. That if, if, if you pick an interval exchange map genus 1, you apply the rules if which in induction will get the another interval exchange map, the genus one, that is genus one. 
If there are other, this, any homomorphism of the circle, when viewed as generalized in table exchange map, has genus one, because it has one just a unique discontinuity. Bom, então, the, the main theorem, <coughs> let f n g b2 psiwise c2 plus 2 smooth homomorphism of the circle such that f n j has no connection, f n j have the same k-bounded combinatorics, f n g are break equivalent, and the minimum linearity of these two maps are equal and equal to zero, then there exists a C1 conjugacy between F and G. The first condition, this, the, this RNF is defined for RN. The, the third condition is a necessary condition to necessary condition to H to, to get the, the C1 conjugacy. Okay. Well, you have an analog theorem by interval exchange maps that let F and G be two C2 plus nu generalized in interval exchange map such that this three, three conditions hold. F and G has no connections and are genus one. F and G have the same k bounded combinatorics. The minimum linearity are, are equal equal to zero. And then the distance in the C2 topology of a renormalization goes to zero when n goes to infinity with these two velocity. Bon, it, Uh, the theorem B implies the theorem A. Now we will give uh, some ideas of the proof of theorem B. The step one will prove the real bounds. Yeah. We will prove the, the sequence R and F is pre compact in the C0 topology. In the main tools on this, this space is the Danjois theorem. In the step two, we will prove the accumulation points of the renormalizations are uh, general, generalizing table exchange maps that are Mabius on, the, on each element of the partitions. Okay. We will prove to this convergence exponentially fast. And the influence of this step two is the paper of Cunning and Vu. Mas this paper is used for one breakpoint. In the step three, uh, if the mean on the is zero, this is a third hypothesis, I think, uh, the accumulation points of uh, the renormalizations are affine interval exchange maps. We will give an estimate of the rate of convergence. In the influence of this step three are the paper of Kani and Sinai, Kani Kamelev, and the Rosevich inductions. <coughs> Note that the, the step two gives the RNF Uh, is close to the uh, space, the 3D minus 3 dimensional space. The space of the, the interval exchange map that are Mabius has dimension 3D minus 3. In the step 3, if you assume that minimum linearity is zero, and then the renormalization uh, is close to the space of 2D minus 2. This step 4 will find an affine interval exchange map FA with the same combinatorics of F such that, sorry, in the step 4. The 
exist FAA such that this this FA is we will call the model affine of F. The, the main tools in this, this step four is the Rosevich inductions, the properties of the kuntzevich zorichko cycle, and the paper of Marmi Musa Yokoi. In this step four, we prove the universality. Uh, if F and G has the same k bounded combinatorics, then the model of fine are equal. Therefore, the, the, the model of fine just depends of the combinatorics. Well, now we will some uh, ideas of each step. Well, this step you want we will note that if you have a interval exchange map of three intervals that equals to three, If you renormalize the, the combinatorial data, the permutation has changed by, by this way. If you have this permutation and your interval exchange map has type 0, if you apply the Rosevich induction, then the RF will be has the, this permutation. So the, the, the infinite, uh, this, this sequence, can be viewed as the path in this diagram. This diagram is called Rosy class. So no, note that if you if you start off a different morphism of the circle with this permutation, you can renormalize type zero, then Rf has this permutation, so Rf is not a homeomorphism of the circle. In this case, it has two discontinuities. It's like uh, this type has two discontinuities. But <laughs> there exists a, a subsequence of the renormalization that this is a homeomorphism of the circle. Then the, the k bound combinatorics tell us that R and F can be right by this way, and the k bounded implies this AI is uniformly bounded. Then we will get the Danjoas results. Bom, the consequence of Danjoas results. This means that any two intervals of the domain or of the partition are comparable. In conclusion, uh, the, the interval IN of the R and F goes to zero when N goes to infinity. This is a consequence of this, this estimative the k bounded combinatorics. So you get the real bounds. <clears throat> now, if you if you have a different morphism with this mean nonlinearity, 
we can create a Mabel's map. This Mabel map is the unique Mabel's that fix the point zero and the point one. It has mean nonlinearity is equal to n. To n. It's the unique Mabel's with these properties. Then we can compare the, the zoom of F with these Mabel's. And you can get this estimative. The estimative depends of the length of the domain of F. Now, we can ask about the composition. If you composition of a different morphism, like before, and you compose the corresponding Mabel's, we'll get the, this estimate. But the, the, the hypothesis that the length of this GI is uniformly bounded. Right? Então, you compose the, the zooms, and you, com, you can compose the corresponding Mabel's, you get these Mabel's. With the, this nonlinearity, you get this, the, this estimative. Okay. This estimative depends of the length of the, the, the GI. Now you get estimative, uh, another estimative under compositions. Now, we will prove the theorem one. The theorem one tells us the zoom of, uh, on each subinterval of the domain of R and F goes to the distance of the zooms with the this set, the set of the maybe transformations that fix the point zero and the point one goes to zero exponentially fast. Now, in the step three, to get to the step three, we will prove this inequality. The mean nonlinearity goes to zero with this velocity. Okay. To, to show this, this, this inequality, uh, we will define a symbolic dynamics, inspired in the paper of the Kanye and Sinai, which the cylinders are elements of the partitions defined by renormalizations of F. The length of these cylinders define a Markov chain with infinite memory, but first is the decay of correlations. These are very technical steps. I don't have time to explain this. But if the, the zoom of the renormalizations goes to the set of the medias, if the nonlinearity of the zooms goes to zero, We will we obtain not that uh, we can compare this Mabel with this nonlinearity, with the Mabel with this nonlinearity is equal to zero, but this Mabel is the identity. Okay. Now you use the, the estimative before, you get this. The, this Mabel. And to identity. If you join the, these two approximations, we will conclude that the zooms goes to, is very close to identity with the, this velocity. Then, if the zooms are very close to the identity, this means that the zoom is very close to affine, the affine map. 
né? e eu e o Gretchen disse o Theorem 2. Now, we can construct the affine model of F. We will define the slope vector. We will start with the affine interval exchange map. The slope vectors is these vectors, uh, ln of the derivative on each interval. You will denote by omega to the n the slope vector of RNFA. Now, uh, this, this omega, omega to the n is an orbit of the Kontsevich Zorichko cycle. This, this theta is a matrix. Uh, this is, depends only the combinatorics, depends of the permutation and the type of the renormalization. Now, if you start with the generalized interval exchange map, we will define these vectors, Vn, like this. Not, the, not that if, if F is affine, these definitions coincide uh, with the definitions before. Yeah. If F is affine, the V alpha N is equal to omega for our alpha no, and the alphabet for our N. Now, since that R and F is close to affine, we will prove that these vectors is a pseudo orbit of the Kontsevich Zorichko cycle with this, this error. Now you, you use the hyperbolic properties of the Kontsevich Zorichko cycle. Uh, the Kontsevich Zorichko cycle is uniformly hyperbolic outside, outside the, the certain central directions. But in these central directions, the Kontsevich are quasi isometry. Then we can use like a Sheldon lemma. And we will get this uh, orbit. In this orbit, omega n is very close to the Vn. Not that this, the last equality, tells us the ln of the derivative, the logarithm of the derivatives are very close. Now, we will define this set, well, the set the affine interval exchange map with the slope vector is omega, in the combinatorics is this sequence. In the affine one, by the set of the affine interval exchange map, whose domain is the interval zero one. By paper of Marmi Musa Yokos, they prove that this oh, is another error. This set is not empty. The set is not empty. Now, in fact, if F A has genus one, this, this set is unitary. There is a unique element of this set. Now, you denote by zeta to the n, 
the partition vector of RNFA. This means that the, the zeta n alpha is the length of this n alpha. This vector is a uh, orbit of uh, this matrix. This matrix is depends only of the combinatorics. Is a non-negative matrix. So you define this projective Jason by this matrix in this way. Then you prove that. Uh, the zeta tilde is the zeta is the vector partitions of RNFA and zeta tilde is the vector partitions of RNF that you use the step three that prove the zeta tilde is a pseudo orbit for T. Now we will prove that these blocks of the compositions of, of T is positive. In the, the real bounds, tell us that these two vectors are contained in a compact subset of the simplex. simplex. Then in the projective matrix, I uh, the, this application of, of above is a contraction, then we will prove this estimative. But the, the, in this case, the projective metric is equivalent to the sum norm, and you get this the same estimative of the vector partitions. Now, you prove that using to the, the step 3, 2, you prove that the zooms of the generalized interval oxygen map is the model affine is close. And use the, the, the estimative you get before. And you get the vector partition of the image are closed. Then the zooms are closed, the vector partition of the domain are closed, and the vector partition of the image are closed. Then you get okay, in our distance of the, these renormalizations are closed with this velocity. <coughs> Point. So, by con constructions of FA, the theorem is proved. Now, uh, we prove that this model affine has d minus 2 breaks equal to the breaks of F. Then, uh, F and your model affine FA are not necessarily conjugated. This, the, this d minus 2 is because the conservative zoric cycle well, of course this de depends of the combinatorics. I pass a hyperbolic in our case, that F has genus 1, the dimensions of this space is G minus 2. In the vector uh, uh, slope of the FA you choose in this space. Then you ensure of F and FA has D minus 2 equal breaks. But you can prove that uh, 
F and F A are ellipses conjugated. By th this estimative, you get in this step three. The logarithm of the, this derivative is very close. Now we will prove that F and G has the same k bounded combinator. Then uh, this will be equal. F A is equal to G A. Then the, the, the step four tells us the distance of C2 topology of R and F, R and F A is the order of A lambda to the square n. The same step there was the R N F G of R N G A has the same symmetry. But if we, you prove of a G A is equal to F A, the universality, you get that the distance of institute topology has this estimate. No, F and G are F and G are interval exchange maps with the same combinatorics. Therefore, uh, F are conjugated to G. But if F and G has the same combinatorics, your model of fine are equal. The step four gives this estimative or R and F, this estimative for R and J. G. But uh, by universality of the model affine, because F and G has the same combinatorics, then G A is equal to F A, you get this. But F and J are a conjugate. Bom. You prove that two F and J are ellipses conjugate, conjugated, and <coughs> using the homological equation, the standard argument in the one dimension dynamics, né, will prove that uh, F and G are C1 conjugated. And you get the, the theorem A. Well, this is a reference of this work. Thank you very much. Thank you.